Hey guys, this is Paul Counts with SEOCounts.com and I am so excited to share with you a new and powerful keyword research strategy that Google is now actually helping you with your keyword research. So I'm going to show you what I mean and we're going to jump right into this. So we're going to just pick a niche out of thin air here. Let's just say uh, you are going into the golf training niche. Like, let's say you want to train people how to be better golfers. You want to start a golf website, or let's say it's even golf supplies or golf clubs. Let's just let's even narrow it down and let's say golf clubs. So you come over here to Google and you just type in golf clubs, and you're going to see here at the very bottom of the Google search results. They are going to give you related searches so that you can find keywords uh, within that that people are looking for that have the keywords you're going after. So in this case, you notice that it narrows down even more specific to say types of golf clubs. So that might be a good article for you to write on or it might be a, a niche used golf clubs. You could actually do quite well with eBay. Have an eBay type website where you sell, uh, you're an affiliate for eBay through eBay Partner Network and maybe you do something with used golf clubs. Maybe it's golf club sets that you want to go after. So let's just say we're going to just grab this keyword here. Let's, let's just say types of golf clubs. Let's just grab that and then let's narrow down here and it's going to give us some more options so now you see here under types of golf clubs all of a sudden now we've narrowed down to a keyword called different types of golf clubs types of golf shafts types of golf drivers golf ball types golf iron types so now just from this we have now narrowed down more potential niches or possible article topics for our particular niche you know so if you already have a golf website or this thing same thing applies here for weight loss for example so you've got here uh, we could pull up the word weight loss and basically what Google's doing is they're just pulling up through their queue to see what people may want so basically you're coming in here and we've got here weight loss tips under weight loss or weight loss supplements so let's say here we want to go into the weight loss exercise niche because that's a niche within weight loss which is huge well now all of a sudden we narrow it down and look at that we've got a keyword weight loss exercise routine now you think that's a pretty targeted keyword I would say it is I think you could sell some ebooks you know in that particular niche and there's certainly some Clickbank products or other products that you could profit from within those niches now I'm not just talking about this for you know internet marketing let's say that you have a client uh, in let's let's just say here Oklahoma City florist let's say Oklahoma or let's say Oklahoma City yeah florist let's use that example and let's see here it's going to bring up some other options now all of a sudden you see here okay I'm trying to optimize a site for an Oklahoma City florist let's just say that as per example here and look at this Google will tell you okay have you tried flowers Oklahoma City that's a keyword that people tend to look for and notice that's right here so now all of a sudden I run the search for flowers Oklahoma City and I say ah maybe that's the keyword I want to also target on my site um, maybe you also narrow it down here flowers florist Midwest City Oklahoma that's another city um, in Oklahoma flower shop Oklahoma City flower delivery Oklahoma City Oklahoma City florist Oklahoma City Oklahoma gift baskets Oklahoma City wedding flowers Oklahoma City so right here you could now narrow down about oh five six to ten keyword phrases that you could be optimizing for your clients this is all within the Google's uh, search results now after you do these phrases you can go into the free AdWords keyword tool so you go to the AdWords keyword tool and if you wanted to do more narrowing down once you identified a few keywords that you've written down that you've decided you may want to go after uh, what you could do is go in here plug in those keywords see what kind of search volume they're getting if you want to further test it out run an AdWords campaigns on those exact keywords do an exact match campaign for you know 24 hours to 48 hours or even for a whole week and see what kind of impressions you get for those keywords and that'll tell you if those are keywords that are going to be profitable for you so you notice here for example again wedding flowers Oklahoma City we can come down here and you'll notice here like wedding photographers Oklahoma City uh, city excuse me wedding invitations Oklahoma City and also now I've actually just identified a whole new entire niche website that I could actually come out with here 
all over weddings in Oklahoma City. So you notice here how awesome and powerful this free um, thing Google has done for you. Now Google didn't really do this for us, they did it more for their searchers, but basically they've compiled the results and said, hey, you're looking for this, we think you might be looking for this, or other people have found what they've wanted to by searching for this combination. So that tells you as an SEO person or somebody trying to optimize a website you have or trying to optimize a site for somebody else or whatever your your needs are you can narrow down your keywords I mean look at this I can even do dog training if I want to dog training I could do bird watching in here and it will help me narrow down keyword phrases so now since you've got dog training dog obedience training that's a niche keyword phrase you know and all of a sudden oh dog obedience training videos look at that that is very targeted and you could probably do quite well selling DVD series on dog obedience training videos and you'll notice here these kind of keywords aren't loaded with content um, so what I'm doing here is to see how many competing sites I'd be going against trying to go after dog obedience training videos and there's only 824 competitors so if I really wanted to enter this market you could actually do pretty well uh, you know in this market but basically so these aren't the most uh, highly searched for keyword phrases but they are searched for because they're appearing in Google's you know database of search options they are being searched for they'll get you some traffic but also they will get you very targeted traffic because if somebody's typing in this kind of keyword they're a buyer you know they're definitely out there looking for videos training of some sort you know they're gonna buy a product so that gives you an idea there and so this is Paul counts again here with seocounts.com and I am just so excited to share this tip with you and join me next time for the next upcoming tip that we have uh, visit seocounts.com just like you see it on your screen here and you will get some of the latest information relating to search engine optimization so again that's seocounts.com